Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another uh, Steven Seagal movie review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Maximum Conviction, which teams Seagal with another famous Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And um, I know today's Monday. Um, I didn't do any videos yesterday. I was just uh, just not feeling it. You know, some days you just wake up and you just uh, you don't feel like making videos. So I um, hope that's you know not a problem with everybody. This week should be it. I should get the Steven Seagal reviews finished this week. There's not many movies um, to get done. And plus his new movie, Contract to Kill, comes out on Friday. So I do want to uh, check that out this weekend. And then um, I have to review his two TV shows. I'm actually in the process of watching True Justice, um, which is like his actual TV show. So uh, that everything should be done hopefully by this weekend. And then next week, um, really don't have any videos planned. I have one video planned, which I'm going to not get into that right now. But I might do some, uh, some random videos before I head home. And then when I head home, I will uh, be pretty busy doing a lot of stuff, including videos. I will definitely be doing videos while I'm home, um, which I will fill you guys in on when that time comes but anyway um maximum conviction this is one i like um i like it for really more stone cold steve austin because seagal i didn't think did a bad job in this movie but i will admit in recent years i do have a tendency to like stone cold steve austin's movies a little bit more than steven seagal's movies so there you go um you know, but I like this one. Like I said, I, I didn't think it was a bad directed video film. It's, it's, you know, not fantastic. It's not, you know, the greatest movie ever made. But I think it's, I like it. And I think it's all right. You know, it's one that I can sit through and watch. Uh, there is a good bit of action in the film, which is nice because, you know, some of these uh, directed video films, uh, not just Steven Seagal, but other people, sometimes they... You know, they lack action. But this one's got a good bit of action in it, which was nice to see. And I thought uh, Stone Cold and Seagal had good chemistry together. I know they're not really in the movie a whole lot together. I know that, uh, you know, they're kind of split off for most of the movie. But that's okay. I guess that's just the way the movie was written or, or whatever, you know, happened there. But, um... You know, I you know still think they had chemistry in the scenes they were actually in together. Um, the story's pretty simple. Uh, Seagal and Stone Cold are these two uh, like private uh, you know contractors, private military contractors, and they're decommissioning this old prison, this old like military prison, and they get a couple holdover inmates, two female holdover inmates, kind of like at the last minute. Uh, for an overnight and they're going to get picked up by these you know marshals in the morning but these guys show up posing as marshals and they're actually the bad guys and they intend to take over the prison and the reason why they're doing this is because one of the the inmates one of the female inmates is actually carrying a computer chip in her skin and they want it because she's like a cia agent and they want it you know for whatever is on there so, of course, uh, Seagal and Stone Cold, along with their team, have to <sighs> excuse me, fight these guys off. So, again, it's a very simplistic story. This is another uh, Steven Seagal movie where he's in prison, you know, like half past dead. And, you know, Today You Die, there was a section of the movie where he was in prison. You know, so it's another one of those films where... You know, Seagal's locked up. Well, not really in this one, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, he's, I'm trying to make a reference, you know, so. But, you know, I didn't, again, I didn't mind this movie. Um, I thought, again, Stone Cold and Seagal had good chemistry together. I enjoy Michael Pere as the bad guy. And he's an actor that I've always liked. I've always enjoyed his work. I don't know why, you know, he never had a, a bigger shot at Hollywood. I would really like to see him in. Excuse me, folks. I just got off of work. You know, got off a little early today. I don't know why I'm so tired, though. 
we didn't really do anything today. But anyway, um, I ran this morning and did PT, but that was about it. Um, I would like to see Michael Perry in an Expendables film. I think he would be a good villain in one of the Expendables movies. And I know um, Stallone had mentioned his name, you know, like when talking about, you know, different people he would like to, to get involved. And, you know, it's a shame that they never got him in one of the Expendables movies. Because Expendables 4, honestly, folks, I don't think it's ever going to happen. That's just my opinion. You know, and it really doesn't bother me that it's not going to be made, so I'm not really complaining too much. But, um, you know, there, this movie does have CGI in it. It does have, you know, shaky cam and, and all that. Uh, Seagal is not dubbed in this movie, which is nice. I think there might be a couple shots where there's a body double. But other than that, it's mostly Seagal in the whole movie, so that was a nice change of pace. Um... You know, always a good a good thing when Seagal's not using a body double. Um, you know, but again, you know, it has shaky cam and CGI and stuff. But there is a, a bunch of action in the film. There's, you know, Seagal, there's this big, big dude, big inmate. Seagal fights him. Um, there's another little fight with Seagal. Or no, there's a couple little fights with Stone Cold throughout the movie. Like, there's one where he's, like, in this boiler room. And then there's little fists of cuffs throughout the movie with him. Um, you know, there's a bunch of shootouts, you know, there's a, you know, a bunch of shootouts in this film. No, I was right. There's a, a fight later with Seagal where he's in the, the chow hall and it's like a hybrid, like there's a little bit of martial arts in there and then there's, um, some gunplay, which is nice. And then there's, you know, they're moving through this hallway and there's a little shootout in there. Um, there's a fight in the kitchen where Stone Cold is making like these little traps uh, one of the, like the main guy that Stone Cold fights, he impales him at the end of the film, and then there's this big shootout at the end, which was kind of reminiscent of Half Past Dead. They kind of ripped off a little bit of Half Past Dead there, and then Seagal fights Michael Pere, and Michael Pere had some good dialogue. He's like, "I'm the fucking bad guy," and Seagal's like, well, "I'm the good guy." So there were some good, you know, exchanges of dialogue there. And also, uh, Stone Cold had a bunch of good one-liners because. Uh, you know, he's like fighting the, cause the two inmates, you know, there's the one good girl and then there's like the bad girl and Stone Cold like fights the bad girl and, you know, he's got some pretty badass one-liners in this. And again, you know, I, I like this more for Stone Cold because he's playing Stone Cold, you know, he's running around kicking ass, you know, cussing up a storm and, you know, I know he, uh. He hasn't done many theatrical films. I wish he did more. But I like his, you know, his directed video movies. I have most of them, I believe, at home. But I like Stone Cold. Excuse me. You know, I think he's, you know, he's got a lot of charisma. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's made some decent movies. You know, I like, The Condemned I like. I know people don't. I like Damage. Uh, he did a kid movie called Knockout where he was a boxing coach. That was a nice movie. I like that one. Uh, the Stranger I like. Hunt to Kill with Gary Daniels. I like that one. And uh, Recoil with Danny Trejo. I like that. And I think that's all the ones that I've seen. I think he might have he might have done a couple more that I have not seen where he's the the star. Obviously, The Longest Yard, uh, Grown Ups Two. He's in those, and I I enjoyed him in those movies. But yeah, you know, uh, there is a couple shots where him and Seagal are together. A lot of times they're not in the same frame, but there is some parts in the movie where they're in the in the same shot and together and stuff, so that was nice. And I liked how Seagal got the, the big shotgun at the end of the movie, which was kind of like on deadly ground. You know, how he got the that big shotgun at the, at the end of that movie. So yeah, I mean, I remember when this was coming out, I remember when it was announced you know, that Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Seagal were going to do a movie together. Um, I know S Stone Cold has his podcast, and I don't know if anyone's ever asked him about this movie. You know, if I were to, I don't know how, you know, to submit, like, I guess you go online or something and submit questions to his podcast, but I would love to know, you know, what was it like working with Steven Seagal, you know, on this movie. So, there you go. But anyway, folks, um, I think this one is a pretty decent action film. Again, you know, uh, there's a good bit of action, which is nice to see. 
I thought Stone Cold uh, was pretty good. You know, I liked the movie more for him, but I didn't mind Seagal in the film. And, um, you know, this was really kind of the last one for a little... Well, no, the next movie was kind of meh. The one after that, it got a little bit better, and then it kind of just stayed there because, you know, it is what it is. But, oh, well, you guys know how it is with these Steven Seagal directed video films. But anyway, folks, um, I hope that you enjoyed my review of Maximum Conviction. Stay tuned because next I'm going to review Force of Execution, which is kind of meh. You know, I'll get into that when we, when we get into the next video. So until then, as always, thank you for watching. Take care, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.